All right, here with uh, Wednesday's warm up. Um, so we're going to start getting right into it with uh, 60 seconds of high knees. So using those runner's arms, brushing the hips, driving the knees up nice and high. Nice, arms are going, uh, fists are going uh, cheek to cheek. It's good. <laughs> um, then uh, the next 60 seconds is going to be a single arm plank hold. So I'm going to go down into her plank, bring one arm up. She's going to hold for 15 seconds and then switch. 15 seconds and then switch, and then she's gonna do that for 60 seconds, all right? We are going to do uh, four minutes of that, so two rounds, um, and then we're gonna start our mobility. So our mobility today, we need a chair, a box, or a ledge. Uh, we're gonna do our, our uh, Y stretch. So Hem is going to do uh, her, her Y arm raise. Um, she's gonna drive, so hold that for me, Em. She's going to drive her left arm down like a karate chop into the box as she pulls her right arm up, kind of opposing forces there. And she's going to hold each rep for three seconds, doing ten reps per side. You can see the, the fight to, to hold that tension and keep driving into the box and away from the box. All right, so uh, just a little, a little sequence to specifically get prepped for today. Um, so we're going to just do 30 seconds on each movement, starting with scorpions. So on the scorpions, I'm going to go out, arms on the T, digging the shoulder in, getting the cross-section stretch from her shoulder to her opposite hip. 30 seconds there. Then we're going to go back to our good old reverse lunge, and we're going to do glute bridges from that position. So how that's going to look is fingers forward, okay, go reverse, sorry, not reverse lunge, reverse plank, and we're going to go glute bridges in a reverse plank. All right. Yes, you're going to notice some hamstring activation, but mostly you're going to notice that front delt stretch that you get from that. It's, it's, it's aggressive. Okay. Um, then we are going to do 30 seconds pike push-ups. So I'm going to get in a nice solid pike position. Remember, it's imperative that we get our head through our arms and we create that handstand push-up sort of feel, and then her, her elbows nicely track back to her toes. And she always finishes with her head through. So 30 seconds there, and then we're gonna flip onto our feet, and we are going to do 30 seconds pausing air squats, just uh, getting our hips moving through that range. Nice and tall in the bottom. Drive our knees out. Good. All right, guys, we got a nice little drill um, to improve some weightlifting. Even if you don't have a lot of uh, weight at home, um, it's still a great drill. Uh, to, and the goal is to improve your balance and positioning uh, within the split jerk. So uh, we're going to use a push jerk from a split position behind the neck. Okay? So I'm just going to show you what that is. Far up behind the neck, she gets to her, her receiving position for her split jerk. And then she's going to do a push jerk from this position. Nice. Watch, watch her hips travel. So, so we don't we don't recover between each one. Um, we're we're just gonna we can do all three reps from this position. But uh, but Anne's going to do a push jerk. Good. And then she's going to bring the bar back down. Good. She's going to do another push jerk from that split position. All right. And you can see M in this last rep, I want you guys to watch M's hip travel. It aggressively drives up into the bar, and then we receive it back down. So she's gonna dip, she's gonna drive, and she's gonna travel back down. Then on her last one, we'll do one more. Okay. <laughs> on her last one, she's gonna recover. So she's gonna drive. When she gets her, we wanna train ourselves to recover, and then bring the bar back down. Cool, you can put the, put the bar on the floor. So to improve our balance and positioning on this one, guys, what we want to think about um, is constant pressure into the bar. Okay, so um, weightlifting, we start to learn about it, and we learn that it requires an aggressive drive in all movements, in the jerk, in the snatch, in the clean. They all require an aggressive drive and a solid catch. Okay, but there's a link between uh, the drive and the catch, and that's and that's pushing under the bar. The bar, there's a point of weightlessness because what goes up must come down and it's, the object is weightless. So we, we talk about weightlessness with a barbell, but in reality there is no such thing as weightlessness. 200 pounds is 200 pounds. And we can use that 200 pounds 
um, even when it's quote unquote weightless. So what we want to do to link the drive and the catch is to put constant pressure against the bar. So if we're in the jerk, we're actually, you'll see M, she's going to do another set here. She's actually um, pushing against the bar as she goes under uh, to create a lot more aggressive speed and way better positioning, more stability through the shoulders. So she's going to drive, she's going to have that constant pressure, feeling the load, and she's going to go um, land and receive under the bar. Okay? And you can see that there's no point where M doesn't have control and contact in the bar. You can see how strong and stable that looks through the shoulders. And the last rep here, and then we'll recover. Good. Just some stuff for you to work on, dial in that weightlifting uh, for today. Have fun, guys. All right, so uh, back with some AMRAPs today. Um, fun workout, mixing it up. You might notice the partial version is completely different um, from the other versions, and, and that's, uh, that's totally fine. It's just to mix it up, have fun with this one. Kind of choose whatever one uh, you're feeling today. So if it's been a while since you've done a dirty couplet uh, Metcon, um, sink your teeth into that first version uh, or the body weight version. Um, if, if, you, if you're kind of sick of the, the, uh, the body weight kind of, or, or sorry, dumbbell movements. Um, but if you're looking for a wide variety, this dumbbell one is great. So you just kind of pick your poison today. We're going to focus on the, the, the couplet. So the, uh, the wall balls, okay, for today's workout. I want you to watch M here. She's going to, um, a lot of times this happens when we get fatigued and we, it's, it's a good principle, but we start really driving a lot too hard with our legs and we start jumping off the floor. So it's okay if M's heels float up, but if we start jumping off the floor, we're actually going to produce less force over time because we're going to be too fatigued. Okay, so we don't want to see the feet actually leaving the floor. All right, instead for our reps today, we want to make sure that we're driving um, with the hips first, yes, but we're also following through with the arms. Arms in a nice, good, relaxed sequence. Nice, huh? Cool. When well, we're done with our wall balls, there's a lot of them, so try to stay on pace with that. Um, we're getting to the dumbbell, and we're gonna go a single arm uh, dumbbell bent over row. So just gonna, just gonna, uh, I'm gonna pull it up in line with her knee. She's gonna row, keeping that balance between her feet and her hips, and then driving that elbow back behind her. And uh, that's that's the sub if you don't have a rope, which which we don't today. Um, if you are using a rope, if you have the luxury of uh, having a rope, good for you. <laughs> no, but if you have a rope, if, if you have 15 feet and a rope, that's awesome. Try to get your feet high up the rope, clamp, keep folks on clamping those feet high, because as we get fatigued over time, um, we, we start to lose the height of the feet, making it harder on ourselves without realizing it. All right, so keep focused on those feet getting high. If we have a rope or something we can use as a rope, but we don't have 15 feet to hang it from, well, you probably have a tree branch, you probably have something to use, we can loop it around, and if, uh, if, if we're capable of it, we can start on the floor and do like a legless rope climb up to, up to whatever height we need to do, um, either holding an L or legless, or time for you guys to get creative, all right? So have fun with this one today, guys. Mix it up and, uh, and uh, throw it down.